Well, I want to be state auditor because I think it's really important that we have someone who is going to take the politics out of that office, someone who wants to do the job for the taxpayers of finding the waste, fraud, and abuse in state government. I believe that I'm qualified because I have two accounting degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Accounting from William Jewell and a Master of Science in Accounting from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. I'm also a CPA and I've served for the last 12 years as a county auditor in Platte County. And in that job I took an office that was not performing to standards to a national award winning office. We've won national awards for the last nine consecutive years for the performance of our office. I also was named the outstanding CPA in government by the Missouri Society of Certified by public accountants. State Auditor is responsible for auditing the smaller counties, there's 89 of those, and auditing the state departments, the state officials, and setting up the accounting systems for the state, making sure that money isn't walking out the door. It isn't a race that a lot of people have on their radar screen, like you said. The, we have the Senate race going on that's taking a lot of people's time and energy, and so there's a lot of people that are really excited about that. But people are beginning to see that the auditor's race is out there. They're beginning to know about the people who are running. I have pretty good name ID in some of the places in southwest Missouri because of the primary that we ran. We had a tough five-way primary that I came out on top after and so we feel really good about how things are going but it is kind of tough to generate excitement for an auditor's race this year. I, the plan that I have is to set up a four-year audit plan. We're going to base audits on the risk and what I mean by that is we're going to be spending time in the areas of government where most of the money is spent. Areas like MoDOT, education, conservation, and Medicaid. That's where most of the state's money is spent, and so those are the areas that we'll concentrate on. Another thing that we'll do is look at areas where there's a lot of cash in the court systems, for instance, have a lot of cash that go through them, and so there's a lot of risk there because of that. It's the state auditor's job to make sure that any cash, any systems that are set in place have uh, procedures in place to keep money from going out the door, so we'll do that as well. Beyond that, we're going to be looking at some areas of state government that people haven't looked at much or at all. Um, Missouri Employers Mutual, a state-owned workers' comp fund, we're going to spend time looking at it. It's never been audited before. We want to make sure that it has enough assets to pay the claims, the workers' comp claims that it has, and keep the taxpayers' dollars safe there. Also, we're going to be looking at the Gaming Commission because it's important that we make sure that those dollars that were promised to education are really going to education. And one other item of interest that I have is the contracts for the state. We want to make sure that they are bid in a fair and equitable process. There's a state law that says that they are supposed to be bid, and we want to make sure that they are. You know, when I travel around, I find that Folks say there are some loopholes in some of those systems, and so we want to make sure that they're being bid as fairly and equitably as possible. Those are the priorities that I have for the office.